Welcome back to another episode of the United States Air Force Drone Racing League Flight School. And today we're going to talk about some different complex maneuvers that you can practice. The first more complex maneuver that we want to practice is a 180 degree hairpin. A hairpin turn is the fastest way to turn around 180 degrees around an obstacle. And the best way to practice that is to set up a figure eight. Just find any two obstacles that are roughly, you know, apart from each other, like the tail and the gate here on this plane, and do figure eights and practice making sure that you're doing them as fast as possible. You want to pre-turn before you get to the obstacle as much as you can so that your momentum changes at the apex of the turn around the hairpin. Similar to a 180 degree hairpin turn, a split S is a hairpin, but on the vertical dimension instead of the horizontal dimension. So I went and found these uh, three boxes that are on the terminal on the other side of the hangar, and we can practice the same maneuver. So you're gonna go split S, pull up, fly through, come up over the top, split S, pull up, fly through. And you can practice getting as tight to that obstacle as possible without losing any distance. And you can also think about how to apex into the next turn. So if I need to split S this pole and go into this gate, I wanna make sure I'm rolling left, staying as tight as possible and angling to come out into that gate as fast as possible. The final 180 degree turn that you can make is a reverse split S. And that's essentially, instead of going down through a gate, you gotta go up through a gate sometimes. So in order to do a reverse split S, you just come up at the gate, and as you come through, you pitch the drone back and roll forward. So if I just do this in open space, I just pull back and then roll. So in order to practice this, I would just find a gate that is on this uh, horizontal plane, up, through, roll, line up for the next gate. So these have been a couple different complex maneuvers that you can practice, things that are commonly implemented in uh, drone racing courses. So I hope that you learned a bunch. Thanks for watching and aim high.